Hey guys, this is Amy Lee and welcome to a brand new episode of Crazy Craft 4! Oh, that made me dizzy. And as usual, things are going pretty darn crazy. There has been many, many vampire deaths and many strange things occurring. Including a million sheepies that I got from a Kinder Surprise egg. Although that was really fun, to be honest. Look at them all. Aren't they adorable? So anyway, since the last episode, I've been busy building up the house just a little bit. And it's starting to look ever so fetching, you guys. Look, this is the third floor. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this third floor, but I really dig it. Oh, look, there's a pet inventory cloud up there. I'm definitely going to have one of my missions this series to collect every single pet inventory thing that there is. And my all-time favorite, one of my one true loves, is the Banana Man pet. Let me show you guys. This is the Banana Pet. Look at his little face. Isn't he adorable? Don't you just look at him and go, ah. Honestly, I love him so very much. So I'm hoping I can get him soon. I can see one cloud over there. Oh, there's another there. And oh, there's another there. Hmm, so we just got to find our way up there. And I'm sure we'll think of something. So anyway, also in the last episode, I found a girlfriend. And she is great. And she is called Silly Sally. And she's a little bit nuts, but she's cool. Here she is. Hi, Silly Sally. Yeah, she doesn't really talk much, do you, Sally? Alrighty then, I'll tell you what Silly Sally, would you mind babysitting Chester today? <coughs> awesome, because I am going to start making our little animal farm. We need lots of sheepies and we need some cowsies and some piggies and some chickens. So to do that we are going to need lots and lots of wood so we can make some fences and stuff. So let's go ahead and grab this. Um, Actually you know what, we have quite a lot of wood I think. We will be okay. So let's go ahead and turn some of these into fences and then we can get on with it. Wait, I hear death. You think it's a vampire? Oh my goodness, it is. Look at him. <laughs> you can't come in. You can't come in. You're gonna fry. And then you will die. Wow, Amy, that song was pretty deep. Just saying. Let's get back to the fences. And loves it. I got just over a stack of fences. Now let me just go ahead and grab just a little bit more wood. Actually, you know what? We do have our axe on me. So maybe I can actually chop down some more if we need it. And then we are going to brave it, you guys. And oh, no, no, oh, there's a vampire at my window. Oh, hello, friend. How are you doing? Oh, you know, I've never actually been this close up to a vampire. I'm just saying he has a six pack. It's kind of cute. I like it. And you know what? Your teeth. Are kind of sharp and pointy. Ooh, maybe he could be my very own Edward Cullen. No, oh, wait a minute. Now there's two of them? Oh, wait, hold that thought. There's actually three of them. Oh, man, how am I going to get out of this one? Are you a nice vampire? Maybe this one is the Edward to my Cullen. I don't even think that makes sense, but hey, he's pretty cute. Or maybe I've just gone that long without a boyfriend. Anyway, before I get carried away, let's see if we can get our little butts out of here. Okay, so I was going to go out of the back door, but there seems to be another vampire here. Okay, maybe, maybe we are just going to be stuck in the house for this episode. No, <laughs> how are we going to get out of here? Hello, little vampires. Oh, that's what I need to do. I kind of need to lead them out into the sunshine so they will slowly burn to death. But looking at the health bars, this could take some time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am so bored. There are no evens to my boredom levels right now. You guys just hurry up and perish! Jeez, it's so selfish of you. I mean, come on, I'm making a video here, you guys. There has to be something I can use that will help me defeat these guys. I mean, they are so uber strong. Think, Amy, what kills vampires in the horror movies? Um, definitely garlic. And there is garlic in this mod pack. I mean, it's in the witchery mod pack. So I don't know if you know if that will help. But well, what else could kill a vampire? Um, oh, holy water! No, holy water doesn't exist. The next thing we could try is a steak. Oh, there is a steak and it is in witchery again. The only problem is these vampires don't come from the witchery mod. They come from the horror mod. But I guess we might be able to try it. How do we make the steak? 
Ah, we need to surround it with garlic. And we don't have any garlic yet. And three down and one to go. You know what? He is quite low now. Well, low-ish. You think we can take him? Let's give it a go. All right, you undead maniac. <laughs> Fill the wrath of Amy. Fill the wrath of Amy. I nearly got him. I nearly got him. <laughs> and he is toast. And so am I. Okay, I need some water. I need some water. And soon, actually, now don't. I'm okay. <laughs> I just want to hide in here a minute until I recover. I hear more. I hear more deaths around me. Wait, I thought they were over. I thought they were gone. Oh, dude, this one's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. And he got me. I officially hate vampires. Ah, no, vampire! Ah, ah, vampire! Bad, bad, bad vampire man! Stop! Will you just leave me alone? Oh my goodness, I cannot stand this anymore. I was slain by vampire, in case you didn't notice. See, this is why this mod pack is called Crazy Craft. It will drive you insane. Now, what we need to do is kind of research what is the toughest armor in this mod pack. Now, I know this mod pack has all spawn in it, and all spawn has the ultimate armor set, which is really, really good. But I also know with the Legends mod, there is like superhero and villain armor, so I really need to figure out which is the strongest. Alrighty then, well, now I've cleared that path, we can go ahead and make our very first paddock. So let's just turn this oak wood into planks. There we go. Wicked. And let's begin building. There we go. Perfect. We're just going to make ourselves a nice little paddock right here. Oh, and look at that. Isn't this delightful? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty basic. But hey, what more do you want for a little sheepy pen? Uh, maybe a way out will be nice. Note to self, let's make a fence gate. Alrighty then, so now the sheepies are pretty set. Let's move on and make ourselves another pen. And this one will be for some chickens. And there we go, I made a little chicken pen. Let's go ahead and fill that in. There we go, cool. And I just need to make a few more gates for the sheep pen. Oh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some wheat. And then we can get the sheepies that are roaming free into that paddock. Oh, and I guess while we're here, we might as well grab some seeds to get those chickens too. Oh, what's this? Another treasure. I got another typewriter. This is what I love about this mod pack is I just find random stuff everywhere. It's actually awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take this one down and the fence post above it and replace this with some gates. See? Look at this craftsmanship. Isn't this amazing? Oh, I could do this all day long. I really shouldn't. Okay, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some more sheepies. Mr. Sheepy, would you like to come in this little pen? That's it. Good sheepy, good sheepy. There's death! There's death here again! Okay, this is a good fight. This is a good fight. I think I've got this one. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I did it! <laughs> I did it! I got you! Wait, I'm gonna die! Oh, are you kidding me? That is so unfair! You guys saw me! Ow, my face! You guys saw me! I killed him! Oh man, Minecraft is so annoying. Now where was I? Oh yeah, I was getting some more sheepies. Ah, more vampires! More vampires! Yee! Okay, I'm gonna get this one. This one I'm gonna get. And I'm not going to like duck. I died. That's it. Come on, you can squeeze through. Loves it. I think five sheep will be enough for now, right? Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That took forever getting these big butts in here. But look at all of the random stuff I found. What is this? A framed fancy sign. Oh, how fancy is this? Look, there's some boogers here. Look, I found some purple dye, which is actually very useful right now. We can go ahead and dye this sheep purple. There we go. Loves it. Now we just need some chickens. Wait a minute, there's another little chest plate here. What is this? Red mercury chest plate. What's that all about? I don't even know. But anyway, I did see some chickens. Look, there's one on a tree. What are you doing up there, buddy? I mean, I like him. He has guts. I think I have some seeds. Yep, I sure do. Let's see if we can get some chickens into the pen. And finally, I got me some chickens. There you go. Have a little chicken, baby. Where is it? Oh, look how super cute. I also did find four eggies. So let's see if we've got any luck today and get us a baby. Oh, we did. Look at that. How cool is that? Will we get another one? No. What about another one? <gasps> another one. Ah, oh, that's okay. At least we got two little babies. Oh, and I love them ever so muchly. 
Okay, so we got sheepies and we got chickens. I think that's enough farm animals for now. What I want to do is start looking at some stronger armor. Now, looking at all of the ores we have, I do have quite a bit of amethyst. And I'm pretty sure amethyst is super tough. So why don't we go ahead and at least make ourselves a chest plate? I think that's a pretty good idea. Actually, no, let's go ahead and make some pantaloons since I lost my ones. I bet these are gonna look dashing. There we go. Oh, mum, look at me. Oh, I wish I could look down and see them, but alas, I cannot. Okay, let me go ahead and just like clear my inventory because it's giving me some kind of anxiety. And then we will get back to the adventuring. Alrighty then, my inventory is now nice and clear. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and make myself a nice diamond sword. And I think actually I'm going to need a pickaxe as well. But what kind of pickaxe should I have? Let's have a little look-see and see what ones we can make. Now obviously we can make like an iron one. I don't really have an awful lot of diamonds left. And we definitely don't want a golden pickaxe. Um, oh, there is an amethyst pickaxe. Do you think that's going to mine diamonds and stuff? I reckon it must do. Let's go ahead and make one. There's our sword, and now let's go ahead and make that amethyst pickaxe. And there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it, everyone. Isn't it pretty, fool? Okay, so since... Where am I? I'm lost and confused. Oh, this way. <laughs> now, since it took so long to make that animal farm because of all of the dying and stuff, I'm going to do a little bit of mining before the end of the episode. And to be fair, I do need lots and lots of materials. Ooh, doesn't it look dark and gloomy down there, you guys? Oh, wait a minute. I think it looks extra dark and gloomy because I haven't got my backpack anymore. Oh, man, I must have lost it with all of the perishing. But hey, I'm pretty sure I'll find one again real soon okay so i'm just gonna open this place up a bit oh my goodness what is this they look like unicorn horns and i'm not even going to begin to attempt to pronounce this okay so anyway let's open this place up and we'll do a little bit of strip mining and that will do for now now let's see what we can find oh no way you guys now i think that is either a stronghold or a pet inventory dungeon and by the sounds of it it definitely sounds like there's a lot of zombies up there so i'm guessing and hoping it's a pet inventory dungeon so what we're gonna do is kind of like mine all the way around it because these zombies are gonna be like super powerful they're gonna be so super scary you guys and we're gonna see if we can kind of sneak our way in and get the chest that way do you guys know what i mean I'm sure you do. Alrighty then, so give me a minute. Oh, there they are! Ah, ah, zombies! Okay, they definitely can't get down to us, so that's pretty cool. Now let's see if we can knock a few out. Oh, maybe it's just a normal spawner. No, it's definitely not a normal spawner. It is definitely a pet inventory spawner! At least I think it is. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take out some of these guys. Ah, and then we will see. Wait a minute, I think I'm totally wrong. I don't think this is a pet inventory spawner or a normal spawner. But anyway, we need to be quick and get rid of this spawner right here. There we go. And hopefully nothing else will spawn. Let's just get rid of these last guys and check out what's in store. Okay, so we've got a little bit of trouble. If you guys can just about see it, there is another spawner all the way at the top there that we are definitely not going to be able to get from down here. And I'm pretty sure, yep, there definitely is a spawner just around the corner. So let's see if we can at least take that one out. And we got it. Awesome. And it also seems that there definitely is also some kind of spider spawner. These guys do not stop spawning. I don't know how we're going to get up there, you guys. I think the only way is to build our way up. Ah, no, ah, zombies. No, I was doing so well. Later. All right, then I managed to get all the way to the top. And look, I can get rid of that spawner. <laughs> we are safe. So now let's just get rid of this zombie. And then we can go ahead and see what kind of loot we got. Ooh, we got loads of cool weird stuff. You know what would be really handy right now? A backpack. What is this? Why is it called a bacon gun? I don't know, but I kind of need to find out. Oh, there's more bad guys down here that I didn't even realize. Ooh, I did just pick up a diamond helmet though, which is super useful. Pandora's box. I wonder what that is. I have no idea. Alrighty then. Well, I think we've done pretty well this episode. Now I'm going to go home. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it muchly. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, check out www.amony33.co.uk for some wicked cool official Amony merchandise. I love you guys muchly. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.